Badev says, my name is Michael He. I'm an economics student at Harvard University, and today I've come to the American University of Armenia. cool thing about AUA is that it's the only U.S. accredited university in a former Soviet territory. It partners with the UC system in California to give students all kinds of opportunities. Let's take a look. Hi guys, my name is Irina Zorabian. I'm the Director of Admissions at the American University of Armenia. I hail from Boston, Massachusetts. Um, I've been living in Armenia for 14 years, so I definitely recommend you consider AUA as a possible study abroad institution, um, possibly for a summer program, or even your master's or undergraduate. It, it will be an opportunity of a lifetime. Um, contact us if you have any questions. So I'm currently in AUA's old building, and this auditorium is where the Communist Party had been holding its summits. And it's a little dark right now, it's not always like that, but I think it adds a good, mysterious vibe to the room. There's actually a huge Soviet flag behind the curtains. I'm about to enter AUA's library. It has the largest collection of English books in the region, and it's open seven days a week. AUA has the first and only center for student success. Students can improve their math and writing skills, and like American colleges, can even participate in clubs such as chess, dancing, drama, and otaku. And now I'm going to show you AUA's new building, where the majority of classes are held. I'm now in the big auditorium in AUA's new building. It's a lot different than the Soviet auditorium we saw in the old building, but that's what I like about AUA, the contrast of the old and new. AUA even has its own art gallery. It's closed right now, but it's something to look forward to when you visit. The outside of AUA is also very beautiful. Perfect place to have a picnic or read a good book. There's even a Newberry Street restaurant on campus, which really reminds you of being in Boston or New York. I hope you enjoyed getting a look at AUA today, and hey, AUA Pride.